In videos, Megan McDonald is all smiles, grinning broadly as she opens Christmas gifts in December 2002, her last Christmas. Megan um, was a great person. She was a great daughter. She had a, an infectious laugh. If you met her, people were instantly drawn to her, and uh, everyone uh, loved her. On March 15, 2003, Megan McDonald's body was found in a muddy field off Bowser Road in the town of Walkhill. Each year, Megan's family has come forward on her behalf. The family tries to focus less on her death and more on Megan's birthday. We, as a family, always try to focus on how vibrant Megan was, and we focus more on her birthday instead of the anniversary date. Uh, because of the tragedy, uh, she would have been 34 this year, and she died at the age of 20, just shy a uh, few weeks of her 21st birthday. Police and the family have a unified message to the people who knew Megan. If you know something, anything, come forward. Your scrap of information could be the key. For any small thing that anyone knows for, about Megan, you may think it's nothing, you may think it's minuscule and not important, but the smallest little thing can be just what the state police need. Please, everyone out there, speak up, stand up, and shout out to the police. Um, I have to also say there is a $50,000 reward out there uh, that we are giving to anyone that gives information to the police that leads to the arrest and conviction of Megan's killer. <laughs> and McDonald has a message for the perpetrator, too. And this is a great burden that you're carrying around. And and when you think about it, you've been carrying this secret around for the past 13 years. If you were to come to the police and give yourself up, you would feel so much better because that great weight would be lifted off your shoulder and that burden would be gone. And you'd finally be able to, to know that the secret, the terrible secret that you've been carrying around with you is now gone. And then you can move on from there. And you would be doing so many people a great service, not only the public and our family and friends, myself, but also for Megan, because Megan didn't deserve what happened to her. For Record Online, I'm Eric Gleedman.